In this video, I am going to explain about how to perform division operation in binary using restoring method. Okay, so in my previous video, I already explained how to perform binary addition. That means how our arithmetic circuits or how our ALU, which is inside the CPU, how our ALU performs addition operation using carry look header logic in binary and how our ALU performs subtraction operation in binary using TUS complement method and how our ALU performs multiplication operation using Booth's algorithm. Now we will discuss how our ALU will perform division operation so in binary. See division operation in binary can be done in two ways. One is a restoring method, another one is non-restoring method. But in this video, I am going to explain about the restoring division method of okay. That one. So now we know that generally what you will do, generally we will take two or two numbers, right? Generally let us take x divided by y. This is what we are doing. So this is what numerator, denominator, generally we call. But here it technically, mathematically, we will call this numerator as dividend and this we will call divisor. That means always dividend is divided by the divisor. And here we are storing dividend in Q on shift register Q and we are storing divisor in M. I am taking these names Q and M. You can take any other names. Okay, just naming convention. I am storing the dividend in shift register called Q and I am storing divisor in M. This is the first step. Okay, this is the, my first step. Now second step. So now represent dividend. Represent dividend in how many number of how many number of bits we need to represent it in binary use the same number of bits don't take any extra bits that means now represent what that means our right represent divis dividend that is q q in binary in binary okay in binary don't take that means no extra bit no extra bit that means use as many bit you want to represent it in binary okay now third step now represent a write what divisor okay in binary in binary using one extra bit using one extra bit okay that is represent the divisor in binary using one extra bit because we need sign we need sign okay this is the initial setup now now take one more register called shift register called a a register she a register whose size is equal to size of size of what size of m size of shift register a is equal to size of shift register b that means for to represent m how many bits you taken you take the same number of bits for a also and initially a register is zero as usual this was the initial setup this was the initial setup now after that what you have to do this is all this is what initial setup again i'm telling so this is what initial setup okay now now the steps to be followed is first always perform shift left what shift left a and q in by one bit position that means shift a and q towards its left by one position okay so shift a left q by one position okay after shifting after shifting, see I'm shift left shifting all the bits, the last LSD bit becomes empty. Okay, leave it as empty only. Okay, now second step, what you do, you okay, you subtract, subtract M from A and store the result back in A. Subtract M from A. So that means here what you have to do, subtract M from A means add add A and two's complement of m this is what that means you do a that means a minus m you have to do that means a minus m means you add a plus two's complement of m that is what you do that means subtract m from a means you have to add a and two's complement of m that's what the subtraction okay next what you do after that now after that check the sign bit of a 
sin bit of a. Now sin bit of a is what? Maybe 1 or 0. If the sin bit of a, sin bit of a is 1, is 1, then store 0 in vacant bit. Vacant bit, then add m. Add m. Suppose if the sin bit of a is 0, then what you have to do? Then store 1 in vacant bit, then no add. Don't add. Don't add. Okay. So these steps you have to repeat. How many number of bits are there in Q? That many number of times you have to repeat. Okay. So the fourth step is last one is what? These things you have to repeat. Four step is repeat step one, two, and three for what? N number of times. N number of for N number of times. Now here N means what? N is the size of what? Q. That means how many number of bits are there in the Q? That is the number uh, number of bits. Number of bits in Q. Okay. This is what the procedure. Now, if you understand little bit also not a problem. Now we'll go to go through the two examples. Observe the neatly. Okay, then you understand everything. Now, let's take. I will take now one example. Simple example. I will take. Now I have taken 15 divided by 8. Now in here x divided by y, 15 divided by 8. So that means now this 15 I am storing in Q register and 8 I am storing in M shift register. Now, now I am writing this thing binary. Okay. Now, Q, Q is equal to 15. This is what 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is 15 in binary. But all of you know that. Now, M is equal to what? B8. Actually, 8 I need only 4. See, here I am not taking any extra bit. Here I take one extra bit. For M, see Q, no extra bit. For M, I take one extra bit. For M, this is for M and this is for sine bit 0 because I will take 2's complement of M I need. To, for 2's complement of M, I have to take one sine bit extra. So now, this is M. This is my M. Okay, but I need to take this 2's complement. For that, take one complement for that, 1, 0, 1, 1. And you add 1 to this, so 1 plus 1, 0, carry 1, 0, carry 1, 0, carry 1, 1, 1. This is in your m minus m, that is equal to minus 8. This is your minus 8. Now, initial setup is done. Okay, now I took register, size of m is what 5 bits, the same number of 5 bits I have to take. So now I take a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is my what? Shift register A and then I will take what Q, don't take Q, no extra bit. So Q I am taking, Q is 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is my what? Q. I take it. Now this is initial setup board. Okay, now how many bits are there in M? How many bits are there in M? 5 bits. So size of M and size of the register should be same. So I have taken 5 zeros, initial all the zeros. Now this is initial setup. Now what I have to do, now I have to start, start the procedure. What is the first step? Shift left, both A and Q towards its left by one position. So this zero go out, this zero comes here, this zero comes here, this zero comes here, this zero, and this one zero comes, this one comes here. Now this one comes here, this one comes here, this one comes here, this become vacant. Just to indicate vacant, I am reading one box, empty box. Vacant. That's why I am reading a vacant, vacant. So this hope you understood. Okay, so just I shift left A and Q together towards its left by one position. So last vacant bit is I return as simply to indicate this is vacant. I return what one box you can write some color, whatever the symbol. Simply I return box. Okay, now after that, what I have to do? So now what I did here, I did what shift left, I did shift left, and yes, sir, shift left, and then what I did, I subtracted M, subtract M from whom from here. Now this is right now my A. Now subtract means what? Two's complement of M. Two's complement of M is what? This is double one double zero. So double one triple zero. That I have to add with A. That what? Add A and two's complement. This is right now A. This is a two's complement of M. And now these two I am adding. For this two I have added. One, zero, zero, one, one. 
Now the sine bit after adding, you have to check what sine bit of a. This is right now. This is my a. Sine bit of a is what one. You sine bit of a is one what it stores zero in the vacant position. So since it is zero, since this one, I am storing zero in the vacant position. Okay, remaining bits I am writing as it is. Okay, so just for your indication, since this is one, so I have written a zero. So if sine bit of a is one, store zero in vacant bit. Okay, now after that what I have to do? I have to add m with whom with a only. Add m. M is what this one? Zero, one. 0, 0, 0. Now if you add this, okay, zero, 1 plus 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 0, carry 1, 1 plus 0, 0. Now, see, now before subtracting, before subtracting, this is my A. Same thing, right? See, this A only I got. That means I have restored it. What is the meaning of restored? See, initially this is my A. This is initially A. Then what I did? I subtracted M. Subtracted A minus M. A minus M. And then what I did? I added M. Plus M. That is plus M minus M got cancelled. That is got A only. See, A initially is 0, 0, 0, 1. Same thing I got 0, 0, 1. That's what the name is called restore. If you, have, if you won't get restore, that means you did somewhere wrong. So this is just a verification for you only. You can check whether you did right or wrong. So after adding M, whatever the result I got A, that should be this A, initial value of A only. If this should be same. See, see, I got same. Now remaining I return as it is. Now again, what I will do? Okay. Again, so this is one cycle over now. This is my one cycle over now. Now this have to repeat what? How many times? Number of bits in Q. How many number of bits in Q? One, two, three, four bits. Now I did only one time. Like that, I return it three more times. So what is the first step? Shift left. Shift left, I shifted what? Now this zero comes here, this zero comes here, this zero comes here, this one comes here, this one comes here, this one comes here, this one comes here, this zero comes here. Now it becomes again vacant. After that, what? Add, subtract, m. Subtract, I mean, two complement you have to add. Two complement is this is double one triple zero. Now if I added this one, 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 zero, one, one, I got. Now again, sine bit is one. Since sine bit is one, I am storing what? Sine bit is one, I am storing zero in the vacant position. Okay, I am storing zero in the vacant position. This is what I am storing. Okay, after that what I have to do? I have to add M. Add M. M means what? M means what this one? Zero, one, triple zero. If I did this one, 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 zero, zero, carry one, zero. Okay. See, I got restored. Now again, see, I got the same thing. Same thing initially. Okay. Now I'm waiting as it is now. This is one, one, zero, then zero. So this is what? Two cycles for. One cycle, two cycles. Two more times to repeat. Okay. So next again, what I will do? Shift left. So now this zero goes out. This zero comes here. This zero comes here. This one comes here, 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 here this zero, here this zero, here it is vacant. Now again what I have to do? Subtract M. Subtract M. So M means two score. Subtract M means what? Two's complement of M I have to add with A. This is my A. Two's complement of M is this double one triple zero. Double one triple zero. So if you added this one, 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 one. Now again sign it is what? Again, sign bit is 1. Sign bit is 1. What I do? Store 0 in the vacant position. In this 0. Okay. In this position. Again, I store 0 here. Since sign bit is 1, I store here. So after that, what I have to do? I have to add M. If I add M, what? M means 0, 1, triple 0. 0, 1, triple 0. So now if I added 1, 1, 1, 0, carry 1, 0. See, again, I got the same thing. Double zero, triple one, double zero, triple one. So my answer is cut, restored. Okay, now this is as usual. This is my third cycle work. Similarly, I have to do what? One more last time I have to do. So now I have to do what? Shift left. Shift left, this zero goes out, this zero comes here. One, 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 one. So here the zero, here the zero, here the zero. This is my vacant. Now again what? Subtract M. Subtract is double one double zero. That is two's complement into add one 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 zero 
zero. Okay, I got it. Now my sum bit was my sign bit of was zero. If sign bit is zero, what store one in wagon bit dot 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 don't add. Okay. So now here it is zero. Zero zero. Here one I'm sorry because see here. This is the only case in this example because sign bit is zero, so I am storing one year. So that's it. Now this is what actually. So I not did anything. So finally, whatever you get a. So this is your what reminder, and this is what your quotient. When you divide what what is example fifteen divided by eight fifteen. Divided by eight, eight ones are eight. Remainder is seven. Quotient is one. Remainder is seven. See, quotient one I got. This is binary one. Zero 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 one. This is binary one, and this is seven. One two four seven. This is the remainder we got. So this is the answer. This is how our ALU performs division operation in integer and we are in using restoring method. So again, this restoring method can be applied only to the Positive integers. It cannot be used to perform division operation on negative integers or on the floating points. Okay. So hope you people understood. Okay. Suppose if you try any other examples, any other examples, and you are stuck anywhere, you please write it in the comments. I will solve and I will post it. Okay. If you have anything to say, you please write it in the comments. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.